This is not the kind of headline you want weeks before a major election. The state doesn't have proof that 200,000 registered voters are actually citizens. I've been digging into the root of these errors and what's being done to fix them. First, Governor Katie Hobbs announcing Friday that an independent audit will start immediately to examine the policies and procedures impacting MVD driver license data. The team will be headed by Coconino County Recorder Patty Hansen and former Yuma County Recorder Robin Stallworth Poquette. They will issue a report by the end of January. This is the first big step taken by the governor who had this to say about the data problems last week. You know, we're moving forward in terms of making sure that everyone who's registered to vote is eligible to vote. Here's who's affected. About 200,000 people who got their Arizona driver's license or state ID before 1996, then later got a duplicate license, a renewal or reinstatement. Those were data coded in the MVD database incorrectly. So when election officials looked at the database to verify voter applications, it looked like all these people had already provided proof of citizenship to the MVD and should be granted voter registration cards. But in reality, MVD did not have that proof. Earlier this month, we sat down with Secretary of State Adrian Fontes. Everyone who is registered to vote signed an affidavit swearing under penalty of perjury that they are a U.S. citizen. Now, does that mean that 100% of them are citizens? I don't think so. But those instances will be vanishingly rare, and I hope we can get to the bottom of this very soon so that we can you know, make sure our voter rolls are, are solid. The MVD says it's already worked on fixes. First, it's added a new data code to make clear who got their license or ID before 1996. That way, election officials can take additional steps to confirm citizenship if necessary. Second, if you have one of those pre-1996 licenses, and you need to get it renewed or reinstated, you will have to now bring a birth certificate, passport, or other form of ID to confirm who you are and whether you are legally present in the U.S. Finally, the state Supreme Court ruled that those registered voters affected by these data code issues can still vote on November 5th as normal. Afterward, election officials say they'll get to double-checking everyone. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.